Right, so we do have a uh, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising uh, weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week, uh, October 5th to October 11th, uh, 2020. And while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, in case you do, just to remind you that in case you do want to contact me for a uh, for your personal reading or you want to take a participation into my tarot classes, all the information about it you can find down in the description of uh, this video. So with that being said, um, let's lay down the prime cards of uh, of the reading and see what you guys uh, got for the for the week. Okay. So the first one here, which does point to what the week is going to be really, we do have the Hierophant. Now, unfortunately, the Hierophant doesn't tell us much because the Hierophant is such a broad card. It could literally relate to anything that is going on. All it really tells us it is that uh, <clears throat> whatever problems you Sagittarius are facing, with your life in general, regardless if they are going to be in term of career or in term of relationship, are go are they, they do have a resolution within the framework, you know, of your existing patterns, which mean that you pretty much have all that you need in order to resolve those issues. And in fact, we do have some kind of an individual here, which is the Queen of Pentacles, that will be your guide. That's, uh, that's what uh, the topic of the week is all about. That individual is going to guide you about, um, you know, what you should do and uh, by the definition of these two cards that is an individual who and who um how can i say eagerly urges you to try again not to give up okay and to give all you got or to give your best in order to sustain rather than to let go of and to try new things around so with those two cards here that is a, a very wise Probably woman, okay, but it could be a man as well, who are very, very self-absorbed. But what they see in you, it is that you are walking the same path that they walked before. You are following the same patterns that they, are fo that they were following as well. So it's kind of like you are reminiscent to what they were before. And although you may not know each other very well, okay, although you may mean nothing to them, if uh, in regards to their life, something sentimental unlocks within them and they just don't want to see themselves failing again as they see themselves in you. That's why you are going to receive a benevolent support throughout this, uh, throughout this week from that individual. You're going to receive guidance, probably resources for these are uh, individuals of immense resources as well. Uh, you shouldn't be surprised if that woman here or a guy offers you a job because they see you struggling with money uh, or offers you shelter, offers you protection, offers you help to resolve your issues. And the next card that we do have that shows what holds you back and that will be the uh, the hermit here with the seven of uh, with the seven of wands. Uh, that is um, a little bit of a peculiar a peculiar combo. So what that combo really speaks about it is that your unwillingness to take help is not going to be an issue here. What the issue is is that you are not going to be convinced that what this individual here tells you is the right thing to do. So you're going to have a doubt that. This I will say woman because it's a queen, but uh, take it with a grain of with a grain of salt. It could be as well a man. This woman here knows what she's talking about. Okay, um, I could I can dive in an explanation why that is the case, but this video is going to become like a half an hour long and it's going to be boring. So just take it as this and um, pretty much with the uh, with the hermit and the seven of wands, you may find the guidance and the advice of the queen of pentacles here completely unnecessary, completely, uh, what was the English word, obsolete to your situation, redundant, okay, I, I, it is like there is no need for you to follow it, it's like a waste of time, so it's like something that is so immature and with a lack of, uh, how can I say, with, with a lack of, um, of results and progress, well that's not the case at all or if i have to explain it philosophically you may think 
that you know which direction your light at the end of the tunnel is, but you don't. She knows, not you, at least in regards to whatever difficulties or whatever situations you do face in that particular week. So to me, as a conclusion for you, there is no need whatsoever to deny her help or to, de or to disregard her, uh, her guidance, okay? So what helps you? Let's, let's get to the good stuff. Wow, we do have the Two of Swords. <laughs> oh my God. And that resolves everything. I mean, even if, even if you don't get along here very well with the Queen of Pentacles, if you are uh, patient, uh, it it's pretty much resolves everything. Let's see what will be the, uh, the accompanied card here. We do have the Moon. All right, so uh, with those two cards, uh, pretty much what helps you is time. It's as simple as that. You do have time. And in fact, you do have all the time in the world. For what these two cards here are pointing, it is that things are working in your favor and the only way you screen yourself is if you rush the things around, okay? Uh, by, uh, and being frantic, because being frantic means that it is highly likely that you are to be beguiled in the wrong decision, to, to be, um, how can I say, en ensnared into some kind of activities that has no progress whatsoever. While with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, there uh, she kind of like gives example, okay? It's not like she asks you to do something without giving you uh, the example how to, while here with the ensnarement, you just uh, are tempted to jump into some kind of uh, enterprise that pretty much turns out to be dead, dead end. So my point here with those two cards, it is that the longer you wait, the more obvious the right choices and the right actions or the right course of actions are going to become for you, Sagittarius. And for that reason, if you are not a hundred percent certain about an action that you are to take about or, or about rendering judgment about something, there is no need for you to say anything. Okay. I, I if I have to give you an example of it, which is pretty pretty trivial these days, you know, if someone tells that they love you, they want to be with you, but you are not very certain that things are going to end up well, you don't have to feel obliged saying yes. You may say, I'm going to think about it. And with time, you are to see which choice is better to stay or to go. And it will become pretty, pretty obvious. This week, all that you got to do is stay and listen. For what I said... At the start of the reading, it is that you that you are going to realize that the solution of your problems are, is within the framework of your existing patterns. Hence, you do have everything you need to resolve them. But I haven't said that you are going to resolve them throughout the week. This week, it is just about you staying and observing which is better for you to do. And probably starting the next week is going to be the time where you have to roll up your sleeves and do something about it. But we're gonna see that right now with the last card, which is going to be the Two of Pentacles, accompanied with the Knight of Wands. So what we do have at the end of the week, it is, um, it's pretty, pretty much a logically tied to the rest of the reading here for it's what, what it says that at the end of the week, uh, things are going to, or rather like your, your thoughts and your vision is going to be very different from the thought and the vision that you enter up the, the, uh, the week with. And uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, um, many concepts you do had at the start of the week are going to be no longer in present. Many options available that you thought are brilliant are going to seem stupid and silly now. Uh, okay, many situations that you cling into are going to turn out to be just a, a situation of uh, situations of, uh, of, um, of slow movement, I don't know how to say, in situations that are slowing you down, okay? And with that being said, you are to start exploring um, new options available, new ways, uh, new enterprises, anything new that may come to you. 
uh, by you changing your concepts and by you changing your ideas as well with with a brand new ones being able to fill up your schedule being able to fill up your your activities in general and uh, being much much more free than before uh, if you will for even though you may not have your problems solved the solution of those problems are going to be at the top or at the tip of your palm and you can execute it wherever you need okay so to me just to uh, summarize all that um, and my father is Sagittarius and I can totally see that in him okay don't think that you're almighty sometimes just listening to someone uh, pays in a long run or rather like goes a long way okay just you don't have to you don't have to act upon uh, whatever somebody tells you just listen to them you may find a better way yourself incorporated with what you have been told so yeah I mean I don't know how to say it. just be, be open for anybody else guesses and don't run and don't rush your decisions but in any case that was your uh, general weekly tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, with that being said, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.